these are young kids as young as nine. So yeah, a lot of these allegations, frankly, they are very grotesque. Encouraging teens to have oral sex, dress sluttier, and touching children inappropriately are just a few of the allegations being made against a popular YouTuber and her mother. I'm Anjanette Levy, and thanks for joining us here on Law and Crime. Piper Raquel has 10.8 million YouTube followers. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> okay, now let's go introduce the squad and give them their clothes. 11 former members of Piper Raquel's squad are suing her and her mom, Tiffany Smith, accusing them of sexual battery, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and then trying to destroy their YouTube channels when they left the show. You may now kiss your like a partner. Former members of the squad claim in the civil suit filed in Los Angeles in January of 2022 that Piper Raquel's mother, Tiffany Smith, made sexually explicit comments, such as telling one girl she had no boobs. The suit also claims Smith called two boys, quote, horny bastards when they held hands with two girls and mailed her daughter's used underwear to someone telling a squad member, quote, old men like to smell this stuff. I look at her and I'm like, hey, mom. Yeah, if, you're, if she's. The suit also claims that Tiffany Smith, seen in this video, showed one child the website Pornhub, discussed sex toys with some of them, and asked one boy whether or not his testicles had dropped. Matt Sarelson of the Dillon Law Group represents the 11 plaintiffs. So, yeah, the allegations are very disturbing. Five of the children uh, are making some kind of a claim for actual battery, but all 11 of the kids have similar allegations of abuse, uh, comments. Uh, th th these are, it's important to understand what these videos are about. These are kids who are scripted to have sort of fake boyfriends, fake girlfriends, and to interact with these other kids. And so sure, some of the allegations in this case include, you know, lots of inappropriate language and commentary about my client's uh, genitalia, their sexual history or activity, which was, which was essentially non-existent because these are young kids as young as nine. So yeah, a lot of these allegations, frankly, they are very grotesque. The 11 plaintiffs eventually left the show. When that happened, Sarelson says Piper Raquel and her mom and Hunter Hill, who is Tiffany Smith's live-in boyfriend and also the director of the show, conspired to hurt the plaintiff's YouTube channels. The social media world is an interesting place because your revenue, your status is determined based on subscribers and viewerships. So there's two things that you can do. One is you can artificially increase your own numbers. You can have fake accounts, you can have bots to increase your numbers, or you can do that in reverse to injure other people's accounts. And a very common way to do it is to simply report a particular account as violating the terms of service or the community guidelines. And it sort of becomes like a self-censor issue where once you're, once you're dinged for having some kind of a violation of community standards, you're more likely to be dinged in the future for these, except there's no actual violation of the community standards. Former squad members are seeking damages, possibly in the millions of dollars, because they say Piper Raquel's channel made millions off of their contributions to the show. There are some other remedies that we'd like to see, some changes in the law, maybe in the, some changes in the industry, but I can't get that relief in this lawsuit itself. That's going to have to come from state legislature, Congress, the industry norms. It's not going to come from this lawsuit. This lawsuit is still in the phase where the plaintiffs are getting evidence through the use of subpoenas. I contacted the attorney representing Piper Raquel, her mother, and Hunter Hill. Kenneth Ingber tells me he will reach out to them to see whether or not they wish to comment. For Law and Crime, I'm Anjanette Levy.